As you might know, Steve Jobs has made a presentation in WWDC 2008 and he has presented that there will be a new major release of Mac OS X, aka Snow Leopard. Now, he hasn't mentioned anything else in the Snow Leopard, but uh, he has only mentioned that it's going to be named Snow Leopard and also that it's going to be shipped next year, year 2009. I have noticed a few hours ago that there has been a new page in Apple's website giving a very, very small preview of Mac OS X Snow Leopard. It says here that Snow Leopard wouldn't be in the area of features. It would be more in the areas of performance. So we're saying speed, you know, uh, more for the user's space and disk space and just basically for developers to have a better you know, better technology in their coding. So basically, Mac OS X Leopard, Snow Leopard will have performance. It will still have features, but not as much as, let's say, Leopard or Tiger. Um, Snow Leopard would come next year, it says here. Um, I've done some research on the timeline of Mac OS X. And it looks like that, I'm not saying it will, but uh, it looks like it might come around June, July, August, around the mid-2009. But uh, that's just research, that's not confirmed by anyone. I'm just saying this for my own research. Uh, as you can see here, there's a new um, Mac OS X Snow Leopard disk. Uh, Microsoft Exchange will be built in to my uh, Mac OS X Snow Leopard in the mail, address book and iCow applications. Um, yeah, so this is more in the business industry. Uh, so some people would like that if they're using an exchange server. Uh, let's see, it says here 64 bit for Snow Leopard. It will support up to 16 terabytes. Um, yeah. I'm sure not many people have more than 16 terabytes of RAM. Um, yeah, so it says here, very fast physical RAM instead of a much slower hard disk. So if this is in more of the speed. Definitely, we know we would like speed in Mac OS X, even though I reckon it's more speedier than Windows. Um, here it says that QuickTime 10 will be released in Mac OS X Snow Leopard. So, uh, so I guess that's got to have more features or a better performance in QuickTime. So uh, that's all it's saying for now. You know, it's not mentioning anything big. But I'm um, sorry here, I'm just uh, a little bit sick at the moment. I've got a little phlegm in my throat. Anyway, uh, Snow Leopard will deliver faster implementations of JavaScript to date. Web applications are more responsive and Safari will run JavaScript up to 53% faster with Snow Leopard. That is definitely something big. Um, JavaScript on Safari is very fast for the current browsers at the moment. But 53% uh, faster, that is definitely something to clap for. Uh, the multi-core, aka Grand Central, Apple is calling it, a new set of technologies built into Snow Leopard, uh, brings unraveled support to multi-core systems in Mac OS X. It's got to have clock speeds or you know inc performance in increase today's processors. It will take full advantage of making all multi-core aware, optimized, allocated tasks across multiple cores and processes. So again, this is into the speed and performance of Mac OS X. It says here there is going to be um, a new Snow Leopard technology called OpenCL. And that's basically in the developers section. So this will be better for developers. Um, I'm not sure how OpenCL works, but probably will be faster or easier to code. But yeah, that's about it. So that's all Apple has released for Mac OS X Snow Leopard for the moment. Um, I'd love to see more of its new features, but if I see any new features, I'll post a video of it and uh, I'll talk you through it. But uh, yeah, um, 
I will see how Snow Leopard will go and um, I hope this helped you in some way to know how Mac OS X Snow Leopard would be launched as. So it's going to be more into the performance than into features. Some people think this will be good, some think it was, people think it will be um, you know, not useful for them, but definitely when it comes to performance it needs speed. So um, I hope this has helped. This video has helped you to learn of what Mac OS X Leopard will pop up to be. And um, thanks for watching.